Hi, welcome to Uka's Unboxing. So today we'll be doing an in-depth review on Deco M5 by TP-Link. This is an AC1300 model, a mesh Wi-Fi system. So this is one of the very popular units ever since we carried this product. We have sold more than a couple hundreds of units. Today we'll be doing an in-depth review why this product is so good and it's so popular among the users. So the first question that we often get asked is that, Comparing to a traditional router, why would I need a mesh Wi-Fi system? The reason is really simple. If you have coverage issue, then probably chances are mesh Wi-Fi could solve your problem because as you can see, this is a Wi-Fi dead zone killer and it connects over 100 devices and it covers up to 5,500 square feet which is ideal for 3 to 5 bedrooms. Now what this means is that comparing to a router plus access point or even Wi-Fi extender, this would actually provide you a faster and stable connection throughout your house. And this is the whole point of mesh Wi-Fi. In other words, if you are the kind of guy that looks for you know, higher chipset on a routing performance, then probably this device is, isn't for you. However, if you are looking to solve your coverage issue, then mesh Wi-Fi is probably the way to go. Now, Deco M5 is compatible with all the ISP providers, whether you are using Unify, Time, Maxis, not a problem and it is suitable for 500 Mbps plan because of its AC1300, it is capable of supporting up to 500 Mbps plan. One of the few features by TP-Link Deco M5 is the ability to seamless roaming. Now what we mean by seamless roaming is that if you are doing a live call, live WhatsApp call, live WeChat call, live Skype call with whoever that you are talking with, you will be able to move around rooms without being restricted to the particular area because the Wi-Fi signal is strong, okay? You move around and your call quality wouldn't drop. And this is what we mean by seamless roaming. We'll be doing an in-depth example later which you can view slightly later. It also comes with parental control which we'll be going deeper because this is actually within the application. And one of the key highlights about this is that it actually provides you with antivirus. Now, a lot of times when we talk about antivirus, it is device level antivirus, okay? In other words, you have your phone installed with an antivirus software or even your PC or laptop, but with TP-Link Deco M5, it actually comes with a network level antivirus protection. It comes with three years free service, which we will be explaining more in depth later. Now, setting up this device is really simple according to the box here. As long as you have any Android device, iOS device, you can pretty much set it up with the app. Now let's move on to the specifications of the product. So each of these nodes comes with a quad-core CPU. It is a dual-band wireless access 400 megabits on 400 megabits per second on 2.4 gigahertz and 867 megabits on 5 gigahertz. So one thing about mesh Wi-Fi is that you will only get one single SSID. So you don't really need to worry about the bands because it will automatically swap between the best frequency for you depending on your distance and location. Each of these Deco set or node, as we call, comes with four internal antennas per Deco unit. It also comes with two gigabit port per Deco unit, compatible with IPv6, and that's pretty much it. Like I mentioned before, mesh Wi-Fi is designed to solve coverage issues. The way you set it up is really simple as well. One of the main node units, you just need to connect to the modem, and all the subsequent units you place at the areas that you want to enhance the Wi-Fi. With this, it forms a unified mesh network. In other words, you actually get one SSID compared to the traditional, you know, in router you get 2.4 and 5 gigahertz, but with mesh Wi-Fi, you only get one network SSID. So what you can do is really with this one SSID, you can walk around live chatting with your friends through WeChat, WhatsApp, Skype call without having any stutters and delay because mesh Wi-Fi network allows you, provides you the best optimal speed based on your distance. In other words, you don't need to manually change between Wi-Fi network like 2.4 to 5 gigahertz, but you can just walk around and continue to do your stuff. So one of the cool thing about this is also the TP-Link Home Care because this is actually a network level device protection which we will be going in depth later. Now let's see what's inside the box. So we have three node units here. Let's take a look. This is actually the LED light of the, of the node and with the TP-Link logo here. Now what I want you to notice is that this is a very compact device. It can fit within one arm. Now compared to the other counterparts in the market, this one is very compact in design. As you can see, the height is only like roughly one inch or even less than that. 
In other words, you can pretty much place this anywhere in your wardrobe in whatever places that you want without the restriction in size, which makes it really convenient. Another thing to highlight as well is because of the gigabit ports, most of the time you see in the market they would label one as the one port and the other one as the LAN port. With, that, with TP-Link Deco M5, you can use either of them interchangeably without worrying about whether you are plugging in the right port. It's actually a pretty good user design. And this is the power port. And of course you have all the Wi-Fi, Wi-Fi details, uh, sorry, the node details over here. Now let's see what's inside here. So this is the RJ45 cable, and this tree is the power port for the mesh Wi-Fi node. And let's have a look. So it comes with a three-pin UK plug, which is uh, suitable for Malaysia market. So this is actually a quick installation guide, where you need to download the TP-Link Deco app, and it tells you all the status. Now let's see if we have anything underneath here. Nope, that's pretty much it. Now let's move on to setting up this device. Make sure to download the TP-Link Deco app. You can either scan it on your guide or just head to Play Store or Apple Store to download. Once you're inside the app, you'll be prompted to either log in or register. It's a pretty straightforward process. You will be able to select your own Deco unit to proceed with the installation. TP-Link really does a good job with the in-app instructions. It even came with FAQs to help you diagnose your situation. For example, they included this LED status to explain and manage your expectations. And by the way, installing the device is really simple too. Just plug in the Ethernet cable from your modem and PowerPoint and you're good to go. So once your device is properly set up, you will need to select your internet connection type. If you're using this Deco M5 as router mode, make sure to select PPPoE. If you're using it as an access point, just select Dynamic IP. By the way, make sure to set up your VLAN if you are using Unify like me. So as I've successfully set up my Wi-Fi, I will proceed to set up my other nodes around the area. So this is where TP-Link does a great job. They actually worked out a placement guide to tell you where you should place your nodes. For me, I'll be placing one in my master bedroom and the other one in my mini living hall. Both are located on second floor. While setting up this Deco M5, I realized that there's a lot of settings you can check within the app. Let's check it out now. There are a lot of settings that you can tweak within the app. As Deco M5 is compatible with Amazon Alexa and IFTTT, you can set up the commands within the app directly. Now let's look at the Wi-Fi settings. Over here, you can see 2.4 GHz and 5 GHz are automatically enabled. You can also enable guest network, which is pretty neat. One cool thing about this is the shake and share. Imagine you can just share Wi-Fi password to your guests directly through text instead of spelling it out. How convenient is that? You can also set up a device blacklist based on the current Wi-Fi clients or by MAC address. You can also update your Deco firmware too within the app, but before that, let's have a look at the advanced settings. Most of the people commented that most mesh Wi-Fi doesn't come with advanced Wi-Fi settings. Well, depending on what you're looking for, TP-Link Deco M5 allows you to do a, quite a handful of settings here. Things like subnet masking. And by the way, I'm also enabling fast roaming to show you how seamless roaming works. You can also configure parental control within the app itself, which is part of TP-Link Home Care. What is really cool about this is TP-Link allows you to customize based on profiles. In other words, you can create different profiles for different family members, ranging from child to adult. With that, you can basically filter out websites that aren't healthy or even beneficial to them. Not only that, you can also set up down to day and time. Over here, we can set up time limits based on weekday and weekend. You can also block a person's internet access for bedtime, provided you want them to sleep earlier. I guess that would solve most parenting headaches then. Up next is the antivirus. So as mentioned before, most antivirus works on device level. However, with TP-Link Home Care, it comes with a network level protection. And by the way, this is also a 3 years free subscription for you if you're looking to buy this device. So not only it protects you from hackers, intruders and ransomware, it can also detect infected device. 
For example, if your laptop were infected and you didn't aware, you weren't aware about it, TP-Link Home Care will protect the network immediately when the laptop gets connected. Moving towards quality of service, this section basically allows you to set up priority based on your activity preference. For example, if there are a lot of gamers within the house, then you may set it to priority gaming. Likewise, the same goes for streaming, surfing, and chatting. To take it a step further, you can even customize your QoS based on your activity preference level down to the level of prioritizing device. So last but not least, you can also add in network managers to help you to monitor the housing network. Now let's move on to speed tests. The first test was conducted in living hall. Do take note that I'm using a Unify 300 Mbps plan which is slightly underpowered for Deco M5 because it is able to support up to 500 Mbps and thus we can actually achieve close to 300 Mbps with no issue. So moving towards master bedroom on second floor, we can see that we are getting speed around 90 Mbps download and 50 Mbps upload. On our mini living hall, which is also on the second floor as well, we can achieve 100 Mbps download speed with 50 Mbps upload speed. Well, the speed is actually quite consistent compared to a router and Wi-Fi extender combo. Remember the seamless roaming that I've been talking about and I said that I want to do an in-depth test? So here you go. The great thing about mesh Wi-Fi is that you are able to move around the house with optimal speed. And to illustrate this, I did a live Skype call with my laptop on first floor. So what I'll do is that I'll walk from the second floor to first floor and back to second floor. Most of the time, you, if you have bad network connections, your live call would stutter and lag. But with fast roaming, aka seamless roaming enabled, just take a look at the Wi-Fi signal. TP-Link will automatically route me to the nearest Deco M5 to maintain optimal speed even when I'm moving through floors. You don't need to manually change SSID when you move between rooms and that is the beauty of mesh Wi-Fi. So to conclude, if you are looking to solve your Wi-Fi coverage issue, then you may consider TP-Link Deco M5. It comes with 2-pack or 3-pack nodes so you can get either one based on your preference and house size. That's it for now. Make sure to like, subscribe and share this video and I'll see you guys next time.